Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be talking about a module called Links, which is a very simple module, but it does not come pre-installed in .NET Nook, and you do need to download it to be able to install on your .NET Nook website. So first thing, let's, let's download the module from .NET Nook uh, website. And I'm here in .NET Nook with a new look. So let's click in the download link at the top. And then you can click here under projects download. Now links module should be accessible from here. Here it is. So links module, I'm not, I don't want the source. I want the install. So I'm going to click on the install icon, please agree. So let's save this locally. It's saved. I'm gonna open the file. Here's the folder. Just gonna copy the address. Now I'm going to go back to my site, log in as super user because we do have to install the module. And we're gonna just install it as a regular module, nothing special. Module definitions, host, module definitions, action menu, install module. Let's click browse. Here's the location. Let's see where it is. Things module, click open. And then I'm going to hit next. Hit, hit next again. And next. Accept the license. Click next. Oh, oh. There is a little error here. It says that there is already something called add links. I swear that I could, that I thought that this module was not pre-installed. Well, I still don't think it is, but for now, I'm going to just to ignore this message and move on. See how it goes. Let's go to host. What message says? Oh, it says that it says that there is already a table like that. Okay, you know what? Let's go host more definitions. See if it's there, and if it's there, perfect. I may have installed it before, or maybe it came pre-installed, and I might have been wrong there. No problem. In any case, we're gonna have a look at this module right now. So if we scroll down. We should see the links module right here. Yes, we do have the links module. Let's try to install it in a page. Let's add a new page quickly. Okay, so here's my new page. Click update. And that's my page. I'm going to remove this out of our way. And at the top, I'm going to select the links module. I'm going to add to this page. So with the links module, you should be able to create a list of links in an organized fashion. And let's see how it goes. Let's try to create some links here. So we can click. Let's have a look at the set and see if there is anything interesting there. It does have, you can display the links in a couple of different ways. So let's create some links first, and then we can play around with the settings. Let's go add new link. Title, let's call it Google. I'm gonna create a link to Google. Google.com. We have a couple of options here. We can track the number of times this link was clicked, the log the user, opening a new browser. Let's just keep it simple for now and let's just uh, click update. So we have Google there. We have, let's add another one. Let's add Yahoo. Then we're going to make another URL. Com. And we're going to update. And we're going to create a third one quickly called Bing. And I'm assuming that this is Bing.com. So let's click update. We have our three links. That's basically the function of this module. Now, again, you can track the number of clicks, but let's play around first with the settings of this module. So let's go to the settings 
and at the button we can we can choose list or drop down let's select drop down have a look now if we select a drop down we can click the option and we can hit go and we should be directed to that link to that URL same thing happens here yeah perfect let's go back there and have a quick look we can also let's go back to ver to list it can go vertical can go horizontal you can let's let's click update for now let's have a look so it's going horizontal now so let's click there settings again and it does have display info link let's click yes and let's make it vertical again let's click on update now um, let's edit Google let's see if we can put some description Google search and see if that was that set was about this yet yeah, it was it it does show those dots and you can click and yeah it expands and it shows the description below so that's the reason of that setting now what else now let's have a look here display icon let's give it a try here let's select one icon any icon marketplace icon just for the sake of a test let's click update let's see if there is any oh it shows a an icon of course i mean if we want to display an icon we should put an, Im an icon image not such a big image but anyway that's a place that you can display an icon as well if we go back there settings now let's select non specified let's go back let's now let's try that option under each link that says track number of times this link is clicked if i select this let's see what will happen let's click update let's click there once now as you can see as you can see because we have asked to track the link if you see the status bar when we when you move over bank it shows link click because it has to control the number of clicks now for google that is not tracking the number of clicks it shows google straight away yahoo it shows yahoo straight away so if we click on bank i'm assuming that if i come back and i go to edit bank i should see some counters here yes there's a tracking URL and then it says the number of clicks that that URL has uh, been I mean, that 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 URL has taken and uh, the last time that uh, that URL was clicked so there's some tracking mechanism some basic tracking mechanism now the other options that you can open those links in a separate page a separate browser so I can click update and now if I click Bing it comes in a, in a different uh, tab so basically this is it about the links module it's a very basic uh, module but it can give you some interesting options like tracking the number of times and even the users that have clicked in that link and that's it for now thank you very much and bye